All right, you guys. Welcome to Creative Chelsea. This is a Facebook Live video, um, and we're going to be doing an alternative card to the Hello Dear Friend All Inclusive Kit. And so if you're here, go ahead and comment. And if you're watching the replay, either on Facebook or YouTube, you're welcome to also comment. Let me know that you're here and watching. And if you have any questions, you can ask those as well in the comments. I'm just going to take a minute to log in on my computer so that I can see all those comments coming in. Looks like we have a couple people who are watching with us. All right, looks like Patty's here. Hello, Patty. So glad you're able to join us today. Sorry if there's any background noise. Hi, Julie and Mary. I can see you guys are watching. So fun to see you both here this morning. Hi, Catherine and June. It's fun to see all my crafting friends this Saturday morning. So for those of you who are new to the Hello Dear Friend, it's a all-inclusive kit that is offered by Stampin' Up. It comes with everything you need to create these cards. So you could be a beginner stamper and want to have some cute cards on hand, and this is a perfect kit for you. It comes with the stamp set. Here's the stamp set. Let me just grab the back of this so you can see it a little clearer. It's got some great greetings that you can use for lots of different occasions, as well as just to send a note to somebody. So that's a fun one and it comes with it in the kit. It also comes with a clear block so that you can add the stamps and stamp them more easily. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember if it comes with adhesive. I wonder if it does. It comes with dimensionals and adhesive dots. So the, these are the adhesive dots and then dimensionals, they just pop everything up off your card just to give it a fun look. And then it comes with one of the ink spots. And this is the Misty Moonlight color. And that's what you, um, the color to stamp your greetings. And so I have already, in my past classes, um, we have already done the original cards. So let me show you those really quickly. So these are the original card ideas that you can make in the kit, and you don't need anything extra to make these cards. Hold on. So um, these little ones are perfect for like little gift bags or with a plate of cookies. And then this is another one. Super simple and really quick and easy to make. And then you do get some large size and they all come with envelopes as well. So you can even mail these off if you'd like to. And then this is the last one. That's the pre-made card. So those are the ones that were designed for the kit. And what I like to do is take those products, add just a couple extra things from my craft room and create some alternative card cards. So that way those of you who are a little bit more advanced stampers can see some value in getting one of these all-inclusive kits because it just really opens up and gives you some fun opportunities to be creative. And so the extra products that I'm adding to my kit are the champagne rhinestones. I just love a little more bling to my cards. And then I'm also using some thick basic white cardstock. And that is my, those are my card bases. And I've used that card base on all of my um, alternative cards. So let's go ahead now that it's a little bit after 10 and get started. We're going to make this card today. 
All right, and remember, if you're watching with us, you're welcome to leave a comment letting me know you're here. And if you have any questions about the kit or the products I'm using, I'm happy to answer those as well. And if you're watching the replay, you're welcome to leave those comments and then I will get back to you um, just by replying to your comment. So there are a couple extra tools that I always recommend. Um, one of them is the take your pick tool and we'll be using that later. I do love having a bone folder as well. It just makes your creases very nice so that your cards lay flat. Okay, so for this kit, for this card, we're going to need these things from this kit. You'll need the geometric copper foil vellum piece. You'll need the card base with the purple stripes, um, one of the large rectangles, a couple leaf dies, and the two yellow dies cuts. So I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and we're gonna trim this down. So we're just gonna trim the purple card base in half first, right along the score line. There's a score line here. Not sure if you can see that. And that should sit right at the two and a half inch mark. And you'll want to keep this for um, another card. <clears throat> and then we're going to trim this down as well. And I'm just looking at my original card and it looks like we just trimmed it. So this got a little bit of a weird thing happening right here in the corner. So I'm just going to trim it so it's nice and straight there. So I'm just going to line that up with my cut line and trim. And then we'll rotate and then trim off this side. And that's sitting at about three and three eighths is the exact measurement. So that piece is ready and now we're just going to do some stamping and then we'll put our card together. So even these alternative cards are really quick and easy to make. And I just love that about kits. I'm going to use the Hello Dear Friend. And then we'll ink it up with the ink spot. Carefully open this. You just want to make sure you have good coverage on your stamp. So go ahead and push and ink it up multiple times in one place just to make sure you've got that good coverage. And then when you stamp it, you want to um, have a good pressure all around your stamp. So you just line it up in the center and then good pressure all the way around. Make sure you get a good image. No rocking and moving of that stamp though. Or you could get some extra impressions. So that's all done. And now we can put this card together. So we'll start with laying the vellum down in the center of our card base. The thing about vellum is it will show the adhesive. So I'm going to use the Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm just gonna add it right to the center. And then I am going to take the glue dots and place one in each corner. And I'm placing it behind that copper foil so that it kind of hides it. And this is one of the reasons I like my take a pick tool is because you can pick up those glue dots really easily and place them where you want them. And then with that point end, you can take off the paper, which can be kind of tricky sometimes, especially if you um, don't have any fingernails. I just noticed I had a little cut on my finger right here. I was helping my daughter clean her room today and so I wonder if I got that on some paper or something. Luckily it's not bleeding, so that's good. <laughs> a 
Looks like Michelle has joined us. Hello. Watch, um, the replay since she's joining us just a little bit late. That's great. And that's the nice thing is you can watch it and then you can go back if you have the kit and make some of these cards or they can just inspire you on new ways to use the kit if you have it as well. So that's just going to go right there in the center. And then next we're going to add the purple stripes and we're going to do that with dimensionals. I'm just going to place one at the top and bottom. And this goes in the center. It is hard for me to cover up all this beautiful copper foiling on the vellum. So that was, I like how it looks along the edges, but I really love the whole piece. And so that was a little bit of a tough one for me. Okay, so then the next piece is also added with some dimensionals. So I'm just going to place a couple more in the center because I want it to stay on that purple. So this card has lots of fun dimension to it. And this can go in the center as well. So we're kind of keeping everything nice and um, balanced. Okay, so then I'm going to do the leaves with some dimensionals. And because they're a little bit small, I'm going to just cut those dimensionals in half with my um, paper snips. Put a couple on that and maybe another one on the bottom set of leaves just to hold it in place. And then one more. Okay. Then the removing of the paper. So this one I'm going to place at the top. And it's kind of... Um, we're going to place a little flower here on the left side. So we want to place it so that it's kind of coming out of that flower into the top right corner. And then the same for this one, kind of opposite, or maybe just a little more flat than at an angle. And then you're going to place the two flowers with dimensionals. I have the larger yellow flower on the bottom and the smaller one on top. And just kind of over the stem, a little bit over the rectangle label. Super cute card. And then you can add some of those rhinestones. So I like the champagne color here because it kind of goes with that copper look. And they come in three different sizes. You have a large, and then there's a medium and a small. And so we're just going to go ahead and use these on our card. Let's put a medium one up here. OK. So that card's all done. Super quick and easy. I think that took us less than 10 minutes to put together. And I was talking about it the whole time. So if I was really focused, I bet that could only take me just a couple minutes. If you enjoyed this alternative video and you are interested, if you're watching on YouTube, um, the replay, if you're interested in seeing my other alternative videos, you can click up here in the top right corner and it will take you to the playlist. And um, if you're on Facebook, then just do a search for Hello Dear Friend, and it will pull up all my alternatives as well as the original cards. And you can go ahead and look at some of my past ideas as well. June just said, I love all the layering on this card. 
I know it's really pretty and actually and I love how the purple and the yellow and the green all work well together too so pretty all right so let's see we have a couple more alternatives still left to do let's pull out our next one let me see really quick um Oh, I do have that. Okay, so let's do this one next week. So this is a fun one. We're going to be using one of the paper, so the cardstock back, so or the card base back. So one of the card bases, I think it was the one with the leaves. You can see a little bit of that left over here. This is the back side of it, and we're going to be doing a watercolor wash, and then we're going to crinkle it up to give it some more texture as well. And then we'll just layer that behind some of those other die cuts. So I hope you can join me next week. We're going to meet again at 10 a.m. Mountain Time here in the Facebook group. And if you're watching on YouTube and you're not a member of my Creative Chelsea Facebook group, the link is found in the description below. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining me. It's been really fun to get together and craft with you this morning. And I hope you have a creative day. Bye.